Danny Harnden here at Sedgefield Country Club in Greensboro. Second round action of the Wyndham Championship. And once again, as usual, the scoring is really good. Patrick Reed was hoping for a fantastic Friday. Coming off yesterday 65, he had an early tee time and was trying to recapture the magic of 2013 when he won the Wyndham for his very first PGA Tour victory. Reed made a nice birdie here on number two, but he says the putter failed him many times today and he settled for a ho-hum round of 68. How would he sum up his day? Rough. Um, just didn't really do anything that great. Uh, hit it okay. Missed a lot of putts, missed them high and low, so uh, it was just kind of one of those days. There's a lot of burnt edges rather than making putts. Speaking of former Wyndham winners, Davis Love III, who has three titles here in Greensboro, and now at the age of 56, makes the cut heading into the weekend at four under par. This is comfortable. Um, Greensboro has uh, always been good to me, and the, and the golf course suits my game right now. Paul Casey, who was runner-up at last week's PGA Championship, is hanging in there seven under par through two rounds. This is his fifth tournament in a row, and he feels... I'm pretty fatigued, mentally and physically, so I'm just trying to get around this golf course with sort of expelling as the, the least amount of energy possible. Tom Hoagie had his name up top the leaderboard most of the day as he finished at 10 under par. I was surprised that the golf course was kind of as dry as it was with as much rain as we got overnight, um, but I was in the rough quite a bit there early on, and it was pretty thick and wet this morning. The reigning British Open champ Shane Lowry needs a good week to qualify for the FedEx Cup playoffs. So far, so good. He's at nine under par, but the lovable Lowry does have a backup plan. I've got a little trip planned um, with some friends in Rhode Island next week if I don't make the playoffs. So uh, not that it's a win-win, but at least I have something to look forward to if that doesn't happen. And here's an update on round one co-leader Harold Varner, the East Carolina nation rooting for this guy after yesterday's Super 62. Varner is just one under par for today, but he is hanging in there. He's at nine under par, just one shot off the lead. There is a three-way tie up top the leaderboard at 10 under par. So Varner is right there, just one back. We're also keeping our eye on former Wake Forest golfer Webb Simpson. He's on 18 right now. He's just two shots out of the lead. So we've been lucky so far today. The storms have stayed away. Looks like we're going to be able to finish off this round in time. But just a heads up for tomorrow. They have moved things way up because the expected thunderstorms and the leaders will tee off about 9 a.m.